This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 1016, Your Excuse is Invalid, part one, by Jason Langstorff with RomanFitnessSystems.com, and I'm Justin Mollick, your personal narrator, reading blogs to you mostly, but sometimes books, anything that I think will help you optimize your life. Today's post being from a guest author on Roman Fitness Systems. It's a bit on the longer side, so I'll read the first half today and then finish the rest for you tomorrow. Before we get to it, thank you to Simple Life Nutrition for their support. They're a company that provides organic, vegan Moringa oleifera products, which are super nutritious. I'll tell you more about that after the article. Visit simplelifenutrition.com to learn more about the benefits and Optimal Living Daily listeners get 15% off their first order with the code OLD15. Again, that's simplelifenutrition.com and the code OLD15. So let's get right to it as we optimize your life. Your Excuse is Invalid, Part 1, by Jason Langstorff with RomanFitnessSystems.com. Let's play a game. Think about something that you really wish was different about your life. This can be anything, a new job, a trip to Europe, better flossing habits. Now, be honest with yourself here. How many steps have you taken toward that goal today, this week? If you're like my 25-year-old self, the answer is probably zero wish in one hand. A few years back, I dreamed about freedom. I wanted to travel the world without worrying about money. I dreamed about what life would be like if I could just pick up and go. I'd be on a beach somewhere, propping my laptop against my knees, sipping umbrella drinks, and raking in mad scrilla, bro. And at that time in my life, there was very little keeping me from doing exactly that. I worked from wherever my laptop was, and while I wasn't making an exorbitant amount of money, I was getting by. Yet years crept by and nothing happened. I kept wishing for a different life and I continued taking no steps to get where I wanted. All the valid reasons we can't. It's not the right time, I'd tell myself. I need to build up my emergency fund and work on systems at my company so that I can travel stress-free. What if I couldn't get on the internet? My business would fall apart. I'm not sure how it works to travel to foreign countries. What if I end up getting deported? I could rattle off all sorts of reasons that the timing was wrong or that I wasn't ready to make a move yet. I'm going to do it, I promised myself, but I can't right now. I have to consider the future, right? All of these reasons were valid to some extent. I didn't have a big emergency fund. I wasn't sure what would happen to my business if I couldn't get online, and I certainly didn't know how travel visas work. For anything we wanna do that's bigger than buying new shoes, there will likely be a perfectly reasonable argument for why we shouldn't do it. Valid reasons are invalid excuses. I was very right to want to establish an emergency fund before I left, but the proper solution wasn't to just put off travel. I should have been actively working to build up my emergency fund faster. I could have spent a half hour on Google to find destinations with dependable Wi-Fi another hour to read through the basics of travel visas. But I didn't. I just held up my reasons to put off traveling as a shield against, you know, doing stuff. When we meet challenges, a reason becomes an excuse as soon as we're not actively working to overcome the challenge. If we're just stating a reason and doing nothing, we're making excuses. And excuses, as we all know, are the fastest way to ensure you end up bitter and unfulfilled how to avoid making excuses. Because no one wants to end up bitter and unfulfilled, let's talk about how to overcome our excuses so we can not only make the things we want possible, but actually start making progress on our goals. Look for conflicting priorities in your goals. If your excuses come from an actual conflict of interest, my desire to travel and my desire to have a healthy emergency fund, for example, then it becomes necessary to weigh our priorities and make choices that either bring our goals in line with each other or allows us to come to terms with letting one goal go in favor of another. Bring your priorities in line with each other. If it's possible, try to find a way to bring your goals in line with each other. This is obviously the best course of action because it allows you to have everything you want. I wanna have both a life full of travel and a fully funded emergency account. Traveling without the savings is a conflict of interest, so I need to bring those goals in line. If, for example, I wanna have $10,000 in the bank to give me a few months of living expenses if I were to hit unexpected financial trouble, I need to solve this problem before I can travel. 
so I need to start saving aggressively. I'll put any unexpected income, tax returns, bonuses at work, or any other money that comes in straight into savings. I can also take on an extra project to create extra cash, which could be a part-time job, writing tutorials for a site that pays, or anything that can be done in spare time. Finally, I need to pay myself first to make sure I'm actually building my emergency fund each paycheck. When the emergency account is funded, there's no longer a conflict of interest and I'm free to start traveling, assuming I haven't made other excuses. Choose the things that make you happiest. There's always a chance that some goals are just not going to work together. If I wanna be a chef at a five-star restaurant, I'm gonna face a big challenge if I also wanna chase the permanent travel lifestyle. If that's the case, you have to make a decision about which goal will bring you the most happiness and either let the other goal go or put it on a list to be revisited once you've completed the higher priority goal. If your goals don't conflict and you're not making progress, you're just f***ing around. If you're not in a situation where your goals are conflicting but you're still making excuses not to chase your goals, I've got bad news. You're either a coward or a slacker. A lack of action with no real obstacles usually boils down to one of two things, fear or laziness. To be continued. You just listened to part one of the post titled, Your Excuse is Invalid by Jason Langstorff with romanfitnesssystems.com. So in today's world, nutrition is something we often overlook. It's tough for me when I'm working every day of the week. And Simple Life Nutrition is a company that provides organic and vegan Moringa oleifera products. I've heard a lot about Moringa, also known as the Miracle Tree. It's been featured by the New York Times, the Huffington Post, the Discovery Channel, because it's extremely nutritious with over two dozen vitamins and minerals, all nine essential amino acids, and over 40 known antioxidant compounds. I've tried it, I had the tea today, and the first thing I noticed is it smells delicious right after opening up the package. I was really surprised, and it tastes great. I had the pomegranate flavor of the tea today, so try it out, visit simplelifenutrition.com to learn more about how Moringa can benefit your nutritional needs and support your overall wellness. Optimal Living Daily listeners get 15% off their first order with the code OLD15. Plus, a dollar for every sale with that code will be donated to Feed the Children. It's a nonprofit helping feed malnourished children. Again, that's simplelifenutrition.com and the code OLD15. I'll leave it there for today. I hope you're having a great day and I'll be back tomorrow to finish up this post where your optimal life awaits.